Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Paige, your cubby leader. Today we are on Bear Hug 17, and our Bible verse is from Matthew 6 11. It says, Give us today our daily bread. It's a pretty short one today. Can you say it with me? Give us today our daily bread. Very good. Are you ready to play our game? We're going to play Can You Find Me? All right. So this is our farm picture below. And do you see the three objects on the, well, it's your right, I think, my left over there? A rake, a bird, and a ducky. So the first thing we're going to look for is the rake. Do you see the rake? That's what you use to like pull together leaves in your front yard or your backyard so that you can bag them all up. All the leaves that fall off of the trees. And there's a rake somewhere in the picture below. It's probably near a tree. Did you find it yet? Let's look for the rake. I'm going to show you where it's hiding. Ready? There it is. It's not really even hiding. It's just leaning on the tree beside the shovel. All right, the next thing we're going to look for is the colorful bird. Do you see the bird beside the rake? Where could a bird be in this picture? Look all over. Hmm. Where is the pretty colorful bird? Do you see it yet? Okay, I'm going to show you. Let's see if you're right. Is that the bird? Did you see it? Good job, boys and girls. Okay, the last thing we're going to look for is the ducky. Do you see the ducky? Where is it in the picture? Hmm. Where could the ducky be hiding? Okay, I'm going to show you where it is. Ready? There's the ducky. It's in the farmer's arm. He's holding the ducky. Did you guys find those things? Very good, cubbies. All right, now it's time for Cubby Bear and his friends. I wonder if Cubby Bear and the other members of the Help Club have been able to help anyone today. Let's call Cubby and ask him. Are you ready? One, two, Three, Cubby. Hello, boys and girls. Cubby, we were just wondering if you and the other members of the help club were able to help somebody today. Yep, we sure were. See, Timothy and I were walking around the farm again. We had our whistles ready, looking and listening for anyone who needed help. Timothy and I walked over to the picnic tables. There were some children from a school visiting Apple Acres Farm. It was their lunchtime, and most of the children were busy eating their yummy lunches that their moms had packed for them. Oh boy, a picnic on Apple Acres Farm sounds like a lot of fun. It usually is, but today we noticed one little boy who did not look like he was having fun at all. In fact, he seemed sad. What was wrong, Cubby? He accidentally dropped his sandwich in a puddle. His sandwich got so wet and soggy that he couldn't even eat it. And that was all he had for lunch. What did you do? Timothy said we should share our lunches with him. At first, I wasn't so sure. I had planned to enjoy an apple and some fresh honey for my lunch. I was so hungry and I didn't know if my lunch was big enough to share. But Timothy said that his grandma would pack him an extra big lunch. So we both hurried to get our lunches. And what happened next, Cubby? Once we had our lunches, Timothy and I sat down next to the boy. I gave him a shiny red apple and some of my fresh, delicious honey. Timothy shared half of his sandwich, some carrots, crackers, and a cookie. The boy was so happy that we shared our lunches with him. I'm so proud of you, Kevy. You and Timothy are wonderful members of the Help Club. Boys and girls, let's show Cubby Bear that we are happy he chose to help by sharing his lunch. On the count of three, let's shout hooray, Cubby. One, two, three. Hooray, Cubby! <laughs> Thanks, Cubbies. I need to get going. There may be more people at Apple Acres Farm who need my help. Goodbye, everyone. 
Bye. Well, I'm glad that Timothy and Cubby share their lunches with the little boy. Today, we're going to hear a story from the Bible about a lot of people who were hungry, and Jesus fed them in a special way. But first, let's say our core truth together. Jesus loves all people. Can you say that with me? Jesus loves all people. Very good. Now, when Jesus lived on earth, he showed his love in many ways. He healed people who were sick, and he even made dead people come alive again. Jesus wanted people to know that he is God and that he was the only one who could forgive sins. Now, many people wanted to know more about the wonderful things that Jesus did. So whenever Jesus came to their town, they would hurry to meet him. One day, there were lots of people who came to hear Jesus. He taught the people many things about himself and his father, God. The people listened to Jesus for a very long time, and soon it was almost dinner time. The people were getting hungry. Do you see all the people in the picture? There's a lot of people there, aren't there? Now, Jesus' special helpers, the disciples, told Jesus, tell the people to go and get food to eat in the towns nearby. But Jesus loved the people, and he wanted to do something very special to show them that he was God and that he cared for them. Jesus told the disciples to give the people food. The disciples did not have any food to give to the people, and they did not have any money to buy food for all of them. What were they going to do? Well, Andrew, one of Jesus' disciples, found a little boy who brought food with him. Now let's see what the little boy had for his food. Can you see in the little boy's basket? What does he have? He has two fish and three loaves of bread. Is that enough food to feed all those people there? No, it isn't, is it? This was just enough food for the little boy. But remember that Jesus is God. He can do anything. He knew that the people needed to eat. So he took the little boy's food and Jesus looked up to heaven and prayed and thanked God for the food. Do you pray and thank God for your food, boys and girls? Yes, all good things come from God. Now, after Jesus prayed, he broke the bread into pieces and gave the bread and the fishes to his helpers, the disciples. He told them to give the food to the people. And do you know what happens, cubbies? The food never ran out. Every man and woman and child in that humongous crowd of people was able to eat as much as they wanted. And there were even 12 baskets of food left over. Because Jesus is God, he was able to give all the people all the food they needed and more. The people were happy. Now, Cubbies, Jesus also loves us and gives us what we need. Our memory verse for this week reminds us that Jesus cares for our needs every day. Matthew 6, 11 says, give us today our daily bread. Now, there are many things that we need. We need a place to live, a bed, clothes, friends, family, medicine when we get sick. We need the Bible to hear from God, and we need food. I am glad that Jesus provides all these things that we need. I'm even happier that Jesus gives us what we need most of all. Jesus died on the cross for our sin. Let's praise God for being so good to us and meeting our needs. <clears throat> Our song today that we're going to sing is Thank You, Lord. And it says, Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. What does that mean that he saved our souls? 
means if we believe in him and we say we're sorry for our sins, he will forgive us and he will let us live with him in heaven forever. And it says, thank you, Lord, for making me whole. He heals our hurts and our hearts, and he even healed this little girl. Remember, she had died, and Jesus brought her back to life again. And it says, Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation, so rich and free. God offers his salvation freely. He offers his love freely. He is our Savior who loves us so much and died for our sins. All right, let's sing the song. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation so rich and free let's sing it one more time thank you lord for saving my soul thank you lord for making me whole thank you lord for giving to me thy great salvation so rich and free all right cubbies i'll see you next week bye